الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله the question was asked who did you study with who are your companions and so on and so forth this is a common question that we get and it's a good question in that it's very important especially in this day and age where there is social media and there's the opportunity for anyone to speak about Islam and speak about anything they want and anyone can claim to be a professional or to have a educated and knowledge-based opinion so it's imperative to know where you take your knowledge from. And this is something that we see as a precedence in the Salaf, that especially when it came to accepting narrators and narrations from hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there were stringent criterion for accepting from those people. And with that being the case, in a time of kathrat of fitn, when there's so much fitna, and there's so many people of desires, and so many people who are speaking about the religion of Allah Azza wa Jal, that it is a very relevant question to ask. And Imam Ibn Sirin, rahimahullah ta'ala, he mentioned, he said, إن العلم دين علم العلم دين فلينظر إلى من أخذ دينكم وكما قيل he said verily knowledge or verily the religion is knowledge so look to those whom you take your deen from أحبة في الله in this after of the Salaf, there are immense benefits. And one of the benefits contains the answer to that question. That, yes, you can ask someone whom you are studying with or who you wish to study with about themselves and about who they took knowledge from and about who their companions are if it becomes necessary to do so. However, with that being the case, you do not want to make your questions as a source or a means of hezbiya, meaning that some of the people will make their judgments based upon a particular group of individuals or a particular clique or a particular group or a particular hezb, and they consider that if those individuals mention someone or do not mention someone, then that's the criterion for their knowledge. In cases like this, this could be a source of missing out on beneficial knowledge, meaning if it's only accepted by so-and-so and so-and-so. However, with that being the case, you do want to make sure that it's trustworthy individuals that you're taking knowledge from and that individuals you trust, you can ask them about people you take knowledge from. So I hope that that's clear, that that is something that has a precedence with the Salaf and it's something which is very important because how many people have the cloak of Salafia? Meaning they have the uh, clothing of Salafia or the outward appearance of Salafia or they claim and call in general to some aspects of Salafia. And as we mentioned a qaida muhim, a qaida of the uh, scholars in which they mention uh, <clears throat> about the, the asal of a substance that al ibra bi haqaiq laysa bi musammiyat that the reality of something is uh, that the reality of something is in its substance, not in its name or claim. 
So simply one calling themselves from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, or one claiming to follow the Salaf al Salih, or one claiming to call fall and uh, to follow and call to the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is simply not enough. You will have to look to their deeds. You'll have to look to their statements. You'll have to look to their practice. You'll have to look to their methodology in understanding Islam to really discern if they are callers to the book in the sunnah and instead of callers to the people of desires or one of the various paths of desires. Let me give you a mithal. One example is we have so many people who claim to be Ahl Sunnah, the Diobandis, the Naqshabandis, get together and make takfir of Ahl Sunnah and say that they, their Sufism, where they worship graves, and where they pray to the dead, and where they uh, make istighatha and isti'ana to the dead, and they claim they're from Ahl Sunnah. And on top of that, they make takfir of Ahl Sunnah, and claim they're from Ahl Sunnah Tiwal Jama'ah. Likewise, we have so many takfiris, do we know, where a lot of their usul is muafiq. A lot of their usul is in agreement with Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, illa al mas'ala ta takfir, except in the, the issue of takfir. So you'll see that they believe in the, uh, the tawheed al rububiyyah, tawheed al uluhiyah, tawheed al asma'i wa sifat, and maybe then they come up with a new category and say tawheed al hakamiyah, and then they propagate it as a political, uh, uh, a, 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 with a political gust, a political uh, means in order as a wasila to make takfir of all the rulers and on and on and on and on, which supports their madhab, which supports their minhaj, which supports the methodology of the khawarij, and it goes against the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. However, what? They still claim they're from Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. Likewise, you have how many other takfiris and other groups who have aspects of the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Don't think someone doesn't have anything from the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no one would accept from them, mostly. Hardly anyone would accept from them, except for in extreme cases where you have the secularists and others. Those people just have thrown away the bounds of Islam. They, their actions, their methodology is a witness over them making takfir of them. Their own methodology makes takfir of them. Wa'iyadim billah min dhalika. So most of the people, most of the people of desires have something from the sunnah. They have something from the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, but you need to look and weigh and discern and have the tools to be able to do so or at least follow the principle which Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, فَسَلَحْ لِي ذِكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of knowledge if you don't know. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمْ عَلَى نَبِيَّنَا مُحَمَّدْ وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم